Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I decided to make um, some um, slides and I don't know, I've been like on this um, slides making um, journey I guess um, where I make like different slides. Well, th these are only my second pairs. Um, <clears throat> also, I have kind of moved my setup a little. I wanted to do like a feng shui thingy. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to, yeah, I kind of wanted to move my setup a little. And so now my mic is on my left side and um, I did like a little feng shui, I guess. Um, <laughs> I probably sound so pretentious when I say it feng shui um yeah like just to you know just to have like good energy um like positive energy and stuff and um i kind of had my desk like closer to my window initially and i was reading somewhere that um having your desk like pretty close to your window is not a great idea um but anyway we're not gonna get into like my weird um interests i guess um <laughs> so anyway um what is this video about so i did not record um the making of these slides because i felt like they were pretty simple um and my expectation of well honestly like what i imagined is not necessarily what um i ended up producing which is completely fine with me um but I I feel like I probably should have recorded how I did um, this particular strap here because for some reason it kind of took me like I would say it was pretty challenging um, and I think I enjoyed how I created um, these uh, Cuban links <clears throat> I, I actually followed a tutorial and yeah <clears throat> and I kind of made these slides a lot thicker than um, the last one and I also added ridges at the bottom um, just something interesting to kind of work with anyway so what is this video about um, I am in substance painter um, my favorite texture and software and um, I just wanted to share something really quickly um, <clears throat> while I while I'm in the process of kind of like working on it um you know just in case you know if you are new to substance painter or if it's like one of those programs that you have just started exploring with um you know hopefully some of these tips could kind of help you out or maybe guide you in a way so I tend to um I tend to create my own materials or um, I would look for open source materials. There are some, like if you have a subscription to Substance Painter, um, they do have like a forum. I don't know if I wanna call it a forum, but um, you can basically share your um, materials and like, you know, um, they'll be like open source so other people can kind of experiment with them. So sometimes I check there to see if anyone has anything interesting. Um, I should probably share some of the materials that I've created, although um, I think like my materials are so rudimentary and I don't want to, I don't know, I just feel uh, like I don't feel that confident when um, I'm sharing something that I've, crea um, that I've created from, um, you know, like experimenting <laughs> and not like, um, like technical based um I, hopefully that makes sense but like you know because i'm self self-taught and um you know i'm just like someone who like pretty much clicks around <laughs> um and i i like click around and figure stuff out um i i tend to be like a little shy about sharing some things because i'm like hey um the experts are probably gonna be like like what are you doing i can do it with you <laughs> Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, anyway, so I just, um, so I, I either collect or, um, I will, like, make my own, 
Um, so for example, the silk red, it is a derivative of um, like a material that I collected, which was free and open source. Um, there are places that you can also buy materials, like if you are someone um, who doesn't like want to waste your time developing your own materials, um, you can, you know, like buy materials. Um, and when I say materials, I mean like, um, like smart materials. Um, anyway, so I'm five minutes in. I'm so sorry. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how um, like once you create your own special material and you feel like it, um, you know, like it's something that you want to continue to use. Um, like for example, here for um, my metals, I, um, I would say I kind of did like a, a patchwork. Um, I think it, this was a pre-existing material and I just did like a patchwork of like um, a different, I, I don't even remember. See, um, I have so many saved um, of like, you know, so many different things that I would try. Um, so these are pretty much materials that I've either created or like derivatives of like other materials that are pre-existing in Substance Brainer because they do have a library um, in the program itself. But I would say like some of those materials are, you know, pretty um, standard and um, I mean, somewhat interesting, but I would say they're very, very standard. Um, anyway, so I want to show you how you can, um, like once you create a material that you really like, um, I'm going to show you how you can save it in this doc so that, um, so that you have many options like this. Um, and I guess like the next time that you enter, um, Substance Painter, you can simply go into your own assets and then click on smart materials and pull a material from there quickly. Um, like for example, the pride one that, um, I created in my last video where, um, I did like the little tutorial showing you how you can stamp, um, stickers on your, um, creation. I also, um, I kind of saved that material just for like future use if I ever wanted to use it again. So, um, so right now I, you know, I'm still kind of playing with this. I don't know if I want it to be just, um, I don't know if I want the Cuban links to be just, um, metals or if I want it to be a combination of, um, you know, fabric or like plasticky looking, um, Let's see, I think I can show you how this looks in SL right now. So um, I don't know yet if I want it to be like completely me metal or if I want it to be like plasticky looking. Um, like for example, in this um, situation, like this um, um, test, I guess you could say, I have like, I don't know, I don't think this looks plasticky. Um, so, I'm gonna experiment with it a little more to see what I want. But anyway, so I created the red version of this one. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna make the actual um, um, strap or whatever. I'm gonna make that like transparent and then um, this part could just be like, you know. Once you make you know, a material that you're completely happy with um, to save that material for future use. What you would do is um, you would put everything in a folder. Um, so you can create a folder by clicking on this tiny folder app icon here and then you name it to whatever you want. It's kind of like Photoshop, I would say. Um, I'm not very familiar with GIMP. Um, but I would say it's very much like Photoshop. So you create that folder and then you drag everything that you have created so far and you put it inside that folder and then you right click on top of the folder. I mean, make sure you, re you name it. Um, another issue that I've had is um, like sometimes I would be like in the zone um, creating textures 
that um, I would forget to rename my stuff and um, that's why like when you look at my my personal um, library it's like a mess um, like for example this says black latex when it's clearly not black latex <laughs> Um, so, oh, another thing I like experimenting with is, um, stitching, the, uh, auto stitching generator. So you'll see, um, a bunch of that and anyway, it's just a mess. So in this, um, quick scenario, I decided to be fancy and I renamed the folder for you guys. <laughs> um, and so all you have to do is just right click and then you click on where it says create smart material and voila your smart material has been created already um so you can right click on top of the smart material um and click on export resource or um, set custom view or show in explorer so showing in explorer is basically your your um i'm just gonna click that really quickly so you can see um showing in explorer is pretty much where all the materials that you've ever created um reside essentially and so you can um grab a material from here and export it um, and put it online if you want um, share it with your friends if you want I've tried um, sharing these smart materials with people that have an older version of Substance Painter and um, for some reason it doesn't work for them so I would kind of keep that in mind if you have an older version of Substance Painter and say you are interacting with someone who has a much newer version and you're trying to share smart materials, they, um, you're not going to be able to use um, the smart materials of you know the person that has like a newer version. Don't quote me on that. Um, I don't know if that's going to be improved sometime soon or if that's going to change. But I've tried it with people who have like an older version of, of Substance Painter. Um, and you know, I, I haven't been able to successfully give them, um, you know, smart, like some of the smart materials that I would create and stuff. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, um, this is pretty much how I, um, save the smart materials that I create. Um, and hopefully in the future, if you're messing around with Substance Painter and you create, a material that you like so much and you want to use it in future that is how you save it um, so this is 13 minutes long hopefully I can crop this down to um, something that will allow me to um, upload really fast so yeah so that is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions for me um, definitely ask them in the comments below I know I have been um, sort of expanding the scope of content that I share on my channel simply because um, like I said my channel is like you know a, a journal in in <laughs> in simple terms um, and so um, anything that I do um, like in regards to creating or you know like just enjoying SL or maybe trying to enjoy other games um, I just share them on this channel so um, I just also want to say uh, thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, I noticed that I, I, I reached um, 1k. <laughs> um, I don't know, this is really cool I guess. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I don't know if there's anything that you want to see in particular or like a particular reason why you subscribed um, and you want to see more of those things um, like definitely let me know um, I am a free spirit just a fear warning so <laughs> so you're gonna see <laughs> um, things based on my mood I suppose but anyway thank you for watching I will see you next time bye